Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I just want to say right off the bat, my apologies for any landscaping you hear in the background. I've waited long enough to try to film this video and it's just not going to work, so I hope that it's not as loud as I am hearing it in person. So today I'm doing another flashback favorites. You guys seem to love these and I have a ton of them to go over. Today, as you guys can see from the title, we are going to be going over November of 2015. So this is obviously the start of the holiday season. So I do have some things that, I, not too much, but I do have some things that I did pick up during the holiday season. And I wanted to update you guys whether I think they are still worth it or I would not recommend them at all, which this month actually surprised me. So I'm happy I'm doing these things. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that I had mentioned, uh, the product that I mentioned was the Essence I Heart Stage Primer. Apparently I raved about this primer, it was really good. Would I still recommend this primer? No, I would not recommend this primer. This primer actually worked well for me during this time because it was during the fall, almost winter time, and my lids are not as oily. So it worked during then, but I started noticing that it creased my shadows and it wasn't working as well for my affordable or drugstore eyeshadows. So I don't, I wouldn't recommend this for those that have oily lids. I don't even know if they still make this anymore, to be honest with you guys. I know some individuals do use it for like cut creases. I have dry lids, it might work. I find that the Milani eyeshadow primer, still drugstore, affordable price is so much better. It really, really is. So me personally, I would not purchase that again. I, I remember having a backup and I just got rid of it because I just realized that, you know what? It really doesn't truly work when I am hot and sweaty and bothered. I saw that it truly didn't hold my shadows like I expected it to for what it was. So no, I no longer have it and I will not purchase that. All right, so the next product that I have here is the MAC Light, Light Scapade Highlighter. And yes, I still have that. And yes, I still would recommend this. This is beautiful if you have a uh, fair to light skin tone. I personally like to wear this one in the uh dead of winter that's when I enjoy this I actually pulled this out during the den of winter if you see mine it has like veining in it and as you can see mine mine doesn't have as much blue veining as I've seen other individuals have this so for me it works really well but I know that if you so happen to end up with one with more blue veining it might end up looking more cooler more bluish on your cheeks I actually lucked out and got a really good one so I actually enjoy this I would still recommend this I would only recommend this if you have fair to light skin tone. Like right now as the spring is, is coming out and the sun's more out and I'm going to get a little bit more tan, this is not going to work for me. It's just going to look too ashy on my skin. But I do like this. I really, really do. It's soft and it's not in your face, but it's still a glowy highlighter. Like I, I like it. And you can see I still have the old packaging on this one. I will never get rid of this one until it tells me it needs to be gone. All right, so I have another highlighter that I recommended in this video. This is the Cover FX Moonlight. And you guys, I still love these. I have the old packaging. They have repackaged these. I believe these are now silver. And I still love this. I genuinely still love this one. This is more, it has like a like a peachy pink type of hue to it. Let me put it here so you guys can see this. It has like a peachy type of hue. Can you see that? Like it's a beautiful glow. Cover FX genuinely does beautiful face products. I really do like their face powders. Their bronzers are one of my top favorite bronzers ever in my collection and these highlighters are right there these are a subtle highlighter but they still look really pretty on the skin like it's that glow within you see that like it's it's really really pretty i genuinely like it yes if you don't want that serious highlighter in your face if you have mature skin textured skin they have great formulas. I have raved about these. I really enjoy these. I, I forget about these sometimes and I like the fact that it brings a mirror. So I like these. Yes, I still would recommend them if you're looking for a subtle, not super subtle, but still subtle highlight. You can still see it's a beautiful glow within, but it's subtle enough. I would be comfortable recommending that to somebody with mature skin, somebody who's looking for something to help with texture. You're tired of seeing that outer space glow. That's something good to have. Looks like I had a lot of highlighters in this one. The next one is the Josie Marin Argon Illuminator. That was in a glass container with a pump. 
since I have had that one, they have repackaged that one. Now it has like a gold lid on it and it's still in a pump. That one I completely used up. I panned that one. That was one of my very first cream highlighters that I had ever used in my life. It was a decent size and I did completely use it up. I did like that one a lot. It looked beautiful on the skin, but you still saw sparkle in it. It had like sparkle to it. So it was beautiful when you mixed it with lotion and put it on your body. I thought that was so beautiful. I loved how that looked, um, did over the summer. I liked it on the cheeks. I didn't like it so much mixing it with my foundation because again, it had sparkle to it. You could see some sort of like, I kind of look like Edward from the Twilight series. What is it called? Is it Twilight? Uh, when he went out to the sun, he saw that glistening. That's what it showed on my face. So I didn't like using it too much with my foundation, but I did like using it as a highlighter because it was a cream product, but it still had sort of like a glisten to it. And especially with my lotion, I do like that. I think that this product specifically is for a specific individual. I don't think it's for everyone. One, if you don't like cream products, you're not gonna like it. If you don't like sparkle in your product, you're not gonna like it. If you like a nice, it wasn't super gold, but it wasn't champagne either. It was like right in the middle. So it's not gonna be good for fair skin. Light skin tones, medium skin tones, I think would look beautiful on. It's still around. I have not purchased it since. I have found other products that I like a little bit better that have more of a glow without the, sh the, the sparkle to it. One of them being my Marc Jacobs Do You one. Oh, that's, that one is 100%. I would purchase the Marc Jacobs one over this one. But I still like it. Would I still recommend it to a select amount of, it's like a, a niche. It's a group of individuals that are looking for this specifically, yes, because I think the formula was great. I thought the product was great. It's just, it's not for everyone. So the next product that I have is the Sephora Blush Palette. This was the Sephora Blush uh, Ombre Obsession Palette. I did a full review swatch video of this as well um, in on my channel. And you guys, I still have it. Spoiler alert, I actually pulled this out for my Shop My Stash this month in May without even knowing that it was going to be in this favorites video. So you could tell how long I've had it and I don't care because I sanitized my crap. So anyway, so this is what the palette looks like here. You guys, I genuinely like this one. I'm not going to spoil it whether I'm still going to keep it in my collection or not. This, The reason why I like this is because you got all the shade ranges that you wanted in a uh, blush palette without having to spend an arm and a leg. Look how pigmented that is. Like these are beautiful. And so, and most of these, not, not all, but most of these had like that ombre effect. You could see it goes from like a lighter peach to a darker, same thing over here. This one right here, which is unique to my collection. I really don't own any purple blushes. So I like this and then I brought this really pretty highlighter in the center. Now this highlighter is, it's a really nice highlighter. It's like a pinky tone highlighter. So it's not gonna go with everyone. You could see it right there. Isn't that pretty? It's a nice glow, but I can't use that in the summer. I can only use that in the winter time because it is so light, cooler tone. It's it's a nice formula. Like I like this. Would I if this was a still available, I would. I would still recommend this for somebody who wants an array of eyeshadows, wants a different formula from Tarte because Tarte tends to do this. And you get a highlighter, a nice mirror in here. It was a good palette for Sephora. Like Sephora gets hits and misses when their collection comes out during the holiday, but I thought that this was really, really good. Look how big this thing is. That's the only downside, is I have trouble storing this. Even though I have found a spot for it, but I have trouble storing it. It's like as big as my hand. It's huge. But you get a lot of product and you, I can just take this and I'll be okay with the colors that I have. I still would recommend it for the quality, just not the size. The size always drove me nuts with that. All right, so I have three more things and they're all lip products. So I recommended three lip products and lo and behold, I still own them. They're still working great and I still use them to this day. Don't judge me. I'm the one that spent the money on it, so I'm good. I'm not putting it on anybody else's lips. The first one that I recommended was the Sephora Rouge, Velo this is the cream lip stain in number 13. I believe this is called Marvelous Mauve. You guys, I rem last month, uh, my last, what, did I have that? Yeah, last month, was liquid lipsticks that I used. One of them came out to be one of these, a mini, and this formula is so good. I don't understand why nobody really talks about these, and this one's still kicking strong, still has that nice scent to it. I love this one. If you like a deep mauve shade, I still would absolutely 100% recommend these. Since I've done this video, at the time I only owned five, Sephora extended this line, and they have like, I don't know, 
40, 50 shades of these. And since then, I have purchased a lot more. Not in the last two years or so, but I have purchased a lot more. So my collection grew with this specific one. I have worn them. And I got to tell you, this is one of the, one of my top, like, six to eight liquid lipstick formulas that I would absolutely recommend that doesn't dry out your lips. I love these. So yeah, I would absolutely recommend them. You will definitely find your shade and these are not as drying as other liquid lip formulas. These are great. I genuinely love these and I still have it and I have expanded my line on that. The other two that I shared with you guys were Dose of Colors in Truffle and Stone. This is so funny because you guys, I still love these till this day. I love a truffle or no stone is my go-to in the winter time when I want a cool toned lip product. Like this just goes with everything. I absolutely love this one. It's just, and it still smells good and it's still working fine. I love this one. And then truffle is the warm tone one. My warm tone nude that I go for in the summertime which is my nude look at that oh my gosh these are so pretty and look how beautiful they are these i gotta say are probably my second favorite liquid lipstick formula of all time i love these absolutely love them again since this time i have expanded my line on these she has expanded her colors and i have expanded my line because of her new colors i love these absolutely love these and look you guys these are still kicking strong as long as you take care of your makeup and you don't store it in a place where they'll go bad quicker your makeup will last longer and I'll, I'll explain that more to you guys when I do my makeup collection storage stuff because I have a lot to share with you guys. But these are still going strong. They still work perfectly fine. I still use these till this day. I got to tell you and I and I shocked myself because I use stone more than truffle and truffle is the warm tone and stone is the cool tone. And I have always found that I, whenever I need a cool tone pink, I always go for, for stone. Always. I've used a ton of this. You can actually see like it's it's used and abused. I really, really like them. Absolutely, 100% also would recommend them. So that's it, guys. That is my roundup for my flashback favorites for the month of November 2015. I will list these down below if they are available. I think everything, with the exception of this blush palette, is available. So you can still get these if you want. And the beauty of some of these, it, the, the range has expanded, so it actually has worked out great. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time with a new uh, video. I will catch you guys tomorrow, most likely with a new video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys. Bye.